What's up, everybody? Another sad day in bodybuilding. Of course, Cedric Millen passes away at age 44. Um, I know, you know, I'm not really a consider myself a YouTuber. I thought I would talk about this, though, and give my opinion. Um, <clears throat> you know, these past two years, so many bodybuilders have passed. Even, you know, one of my best friends, Boston, just not too long ago. Um, and not his related death, but most of the other ones, you know, of course, gear. We all know gear is not great for the heart, especially use, um, you know, for years and years and years. But, you know, that's why I always tell people to get blood work. But even blood work doesn't tell the whole story. So make sure you get echocardiogram stress test to see the heart. Okay. But, um, you know, Cedric had a life that, you know, he was in the military. Most people, most bodybuilders, they chill. They don't have like, you know, really hard lifestyles outside of bodybuilding. Just picture being in the military and bodybuilding. And, you know, he didn't have to do that. He could have probably made better money not doing that, but he just loved the military. Um, he was known as a really nice guy. He was a big guy. Um, and a lot of times, it sounds, sounds kind of funny, people will see, like, a big black guy. Uh, and they will be like, they won't think he much about steroids, but they'll see someone like me. I'm, I'm 5'10", like, shredded to the bone when I was competing. Shredded, veiny, veins everywhere. And, like, oh, he's on so much, you know, gear. And it's just because that look, you know, that grainy look, just because Cedric wasn't super grainy, people think maybe he was lighter on the compounds. No, I know a good friend, a mutual friend, and he was not at all. But, you know, what, what's going on the past two years? Common denominator. C word, V word, you know, and all these passings. It just kind of goes hand in hand. There, there's been, there hasn't been another time where there's been that many deaths, especially big name deaths in the past two years since, you know, what came out. Um, so I think it's a combination of the V, C, or whatever that causes blood clots and, you know, all the gear and being such a big bodybuilder. Uh, it's sad. And, you know, Cedric won the Arnold and he had a one of the best victory speeches ever. And it's just a really, really sad day. And I'm tired of you know, the industry, you know, every time we lose somebody, it's just like we're looked down on more and more in bodybuilding. And I get it. It's a it's a risky sport. So are industry. So are other sports, too. I mean, PEDs are involved in all sports. People just look at bodybuilding because it's the way you look. Um, but, you know, it, it is what it is. He's only he was only 44 family, kids. It's sad. I hate when anyone, you know, passes away in the industry, uh, you know. And I don't know really what else to say, but that's my two cents on the combination factors. And he, you know, he was sick. He had pneumonia and he was dealing with the C word. I don't even know if you can say it on here because everything's so, you know, you know, mo like crazy now. But he was dealing with both and was sick. And I know he was taking care of his, a sick mother also. So a lot of stress too. Stress do does kill and stress does affect the heart. I remember when I was going through a very stressful time in my life before I was having chest pains all the time. Blood pressure was through the roof. I wasn't even on any gear then, just dealing with life. And I just couldn't imagine being in military and bodybuilding. But that's all I have to say. I'm not going to make any more speculations since, you know, since all the details come out. But, you know, everybody kind of knows. It's all the same related patterns. And, um, you know, I just don't want to see the, this affect bodybuilding. I think, I do think bodybuilding in the open has gone in the wrong direction. Um, I'm, I'm not a fan of the physiques today. I love the physiques when I grew up, you know, like Ronnie, Jay, you know, Kevin Lavrone, Flex, those were crazy physiques and by no means were they conservative then, but now all the new crazy stuff, I believe plays a factor. SARMs, peptides, all this stuff, I think does play a factor in health. We really don't know long-term what it does. Gear, we kind of do. Um, so I'm not a fan of SARMs and all these peptides out there. Uh, but guys, uh, that's all I'm going to say. And, um, you know, it's like every couple weeks, it's something else. It's something else. Um, take care.